All right, thermo siphon, natural convection. Uh, this is what I did. Uh, I wanted something that would work off the wood stove and would circulate by itself without power, so I wouldn't need a pump and it wouldn't boil if the power went out. So I got my system here. I got two uh, copper lines in parallel wrapped around the chimney. Um, there's probably a more efficient way to do this, but I was sort of low on materials, so this is what I used. Uh, wood stove, fire going inside of it. Um, a few winds around the chimney, heat up the coolant in the pipes, up to sort of a manifold where I got my high point. Uh, add coolant and let out air, because thermo siphon only works when there's no air trapped in it. And I've got my truck radiator over here that it flows into and uh, down and out through these pipes it's uh, sort of a botch job but I was running low on material like I said um, how this works is the coolant gets heated up by the stove on the chimney and rises because it gets less dense as it heats up it rises up there and uh, as it cools down in the radiator it gets heavier and then flows back down here and displaces the lighter, hotter stuff in the coil. Um, the only reason I'm posting this is not because I like to make videos, but when I was looking for stuff like this, I couldn't find anything. So, for anyone else who's looking to do it, you're welcome. Um, I can grab the, the uh, lines right here, and they're still actually colder than room temperature because we got a flow going here and these ones up here are a little too hot for me to touch I'd burn myself get a reading for you here with the heat gun so yeah just under 160 off the top of the rad transfers heat a little better because it's copper so we got 166 and at the bottom of the rad we got 69. So I've still got rad cap on there and an overflow jug hooked up in case it overpressures, but it never does. Um, but it's there just in case. Uh, I got a crappy fan behind there to sort of blow the heat off the rad. I don't even really need it. Even with the fan not going, it's still cold by the time it gets to the bottom. And another fan up there just to help circulate the air through the garage because. That crappy fan just blows the heat out and it just rises right up. Um, yeah, not the most efficient way to do this, but I just wanted to see if it would work with the materials I had. Obviously, with it being right next to the fire, there's not a whole lot of gains that could be had, but it still cuts the heating time of the garage in half. It's like a 25 by 30 garage, not very well insulated. And uh, in the winter time, it used to take four or five hours to heat up, and now it's... Uh, around two hours just under it's not very cold today so it's already warm in here and I don't have to keep the fire as ripping hot to keep the temperature up in here like I say you need power for the fans but the system circulates by itself and that's what I was going for so if you're thinking about doing it that's how it works I uh, made all the connections on an angle so they wouldn't trap any air down there and up there. If any air goes up to the top I can just open the valve and add some more liquid to it. And like I say I got coolant in there so it won't freeze in the winter and I wanted something that would self circulate so it wouldn't boil if the power went out and I didn't need a pump. So there you have it free heat that would have just gone up and out the chimney.